In this Blender tutorial, we are going to learn how we can create this detail which you can see in this reference image. Hey there, this is Chetan and welcome to CR Entry Designers. Without further ado, let's get started. First, I'm going to add a plane as like this. Okay, now I will add a cylinder. Shift A, add a cylinder and I will go with the 24 volt cylinder. After that, just scale down the cylinder and then rotate the cylinder and scale it along the Y axis a little bit. Okay, that's look fine to me. Now what you need to do, you need to take this cylinder a little bit up, so move it along the Z axis. Now just shift D to duplicate this cylinder and then hide this cylinder. Okay, now we have this cylinder at here. Now just go to the extreme mode and then select these words and then connect them. Right click connect vertex pair and then select this bottom words and then move these words along the Z axis in this way. After that scale these words along the Z axis, S, Z and give the value 0 and we got this kind of form at there okay that looks pretty well you can adjust its scale a little bit i need to scale it like this and scale it a little bit along the y-axis yeah that's fine okay then now the next step is you need to select this object and then go to the side view and then go to the edit mode and here you need to use the knife tool then you need to create a slant cut like this you need to select the first point and then you need to press c and then select the second point and then press enter or spacebar to complete that operation and you will get this kind of cut at there then go to the face mode you can select this face loop and then this faces and then press x to delete them and you will get this kind of detail just select this each loop and then press f to fill the gap that looks pretty fine then you can select everything and then mesh symmetry take the symmetry so i'm going to take the symmetry along the z axis because i didn't apply the rotation yet okay i got something like this I'm just going to move these words a little bit along the y-axis. Then you can select these words and then connect them. Then add a center word add there. And then just connect these words in this way. Then take the symmetry, mesh symmetrize. Now we need to use that another cylinder which we have duplicate already. So just take that cylinder and you need to adjust scale now. You can turn on the wireframe add there and then scale this cylinder along the y-axis as y and now one thing we can do at here you can select this part then go to the edit mode select this word and then shift s and you will get this pie menu and then cursor to select so it will take that cursor to this selected point and then select this cylinder and then press shift s and then selection to cursor so we will get that cylinder at the center of that point means at the center of the circular part of that object then you can move this cylinder along the y-axis to give the right position to it and then you can select this cylinder and then this object and then press alt x and then use the boolean operation difference and you will get this kind of boolean that's fine then you can apply this boolean modifier on it then you can delete this cutter object and you will get this kind of mesh select this object select this object and now you need to press one more time alt x I'm using the advanced boolean tool you can use the bool tool also and use the union boolean operation okay and now you need to apply that boolean modifier then there is one double object which is like this cutter object and then press x and delete it and you can see we have got this kind of mesh now the thing is very simple we need to create the right topology so select everything mesh and then symmetrize take the symmetry I'm going to add a center loop cut at here you can see we need to merge some words at there because there are some double words so select everything and then press m and merge by a distance so now we have merged the double words at there and now i can add the center loop cut like this and then what will i do i will select that loop cut and then press ctrl b and add bevel on this loop cut and give the bevel width like this little bit more and then delete these faces then you can select this H loop and then press F to fill the gap. Just move it a little bit and then use the insert operation. And then extrude it a little bit along the Y axis just to add a little bit of detail at there. You can select everything and mesh symmetrize, take the symmetry along the Y axis. Now we have got the right 3D form for the model. Now we need to create the right topology for it. So first use the knife tool and create this kind of cut along the y-axis and then create a cut along the x-axis then you can select these words and then right click connect vertex pair 
after that I'm going to select this edge loops then control B and add a bevel on them and make sure your shape factor should be 1 and add a 2 segment bevel add there so you will get this kind of loop structure and if you want this kind of bevel then you can give the 1 segment add there and you can create this kind of bevel also that's also fine and then one more time select this outer edge loop and then use the bevel add there and this time you can give 2 segment so you will get this kind of loop structure similar kind of thing I am going to do add here also select this edge loop and then control B and then add a bevel on it and you can add this kind of bevel as like this then you can select these words and you can merge these words to this corner words now here we are getting the triangle so just need to add one center loop cut add there means words and then select this word and then select this word and then press M and merge at last then use the knife tool and create a cut along the y axis now use the knife tool and create cuts along the z axis then create cuts along the x axis then add few loop cuts like this and then create one cut at the bottom along the x axis that's like this after that we need to create the loop structure at here so I'm going to use one more time the knife tool and create cut like this along the x axis and then create cut along the y axis and here you can create a loop structure like this you can just connect these words with the help of knife tool in this way then dissolve this each loop and you will get this kind of loop structure and now just need to take the symmetry so before that just add a little bit of details add there And then finally add sub D modifier. So hit the control 2 and add sub D modifier like this. And shade smooth it. And in this way you can create this kind of design, this kind of detail. So that's it for today. If you want to support this YouTube channel, then you can join the membership. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then hit that like button and subscribe our YouTube channel. Bye bye. See so you next video. Take care. Yeah. You better roll that you never see me agitated. I think about my actions, plan a 